Hi and welcome to day 33 of our Vita Devotionals. We're studying a special prayer Jesus prayed recorded in John 17. Let's read verses 9 through 12. I pray for them. I'm not praying for the world, but for those you have given me, for they are yours. All I have is yours, and all you have is mine, and glory has come to me through them. I will remain in the world no longer, but they are still in the world, and I am coming to you. Holy Father, protect them by the power of your name, the name you gave me, so that they may be one as we are one. While I was with them, I protected them and kept them safe by that name you gave me. None has been lost except the one doomed to destruction, so that scripture would be fulfilled. In this part of his prayer, he's not thinking, Jesus is not thinking about anything else but the remaining 11 disciples. He's praying specifically for them. And there are a few things Jesus has in mind here. Number one, they need prayer because their time with Jesus will soon be over. Number two, they need prayer because of the circumstances surrounding the final moments of Jesus' life. They need a lot of strength and a lot of, of faith. And number three, they need prayer for protection. Jesus will not be there to protect them anymore. At the end of this part of the prayer, Jesus also asks for unity, that they may be one as we are one, says Jesus. He's going to elaborate more on this later in the prayer, but from the beginning, he makes it clear that unity among the group is important. And he prayed for a specific type, that they may be one as we are one. Wow! Is that even possible? I think it is. So today I want us to pray for two things. Protection and unity. Protection because we are still in this world and the world is evil. In unity in our mission to present God to the world. Protection because everything around us is evil. In unity because that's how we're going to present God to the world. So let's pray. Heavenly Father, Lord, we specifically pray today for protection from the evil one. And we also pray for unity of heart, unity of mission, that you will lead us together in representing you to the world. So bless us, for we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.